Hi everyone, I'm Dave from the Polypad team here to share with you our Polypad updates for June 2023. You can see I have a fraction circle here on the screen. I can use this tab to change the size of the circle. And a new feature that we added is the ability to change the label to degrees. We've had percentage, decimal, and none for a while, but I'm going to change it to degrees. And you can see here, I see that each section is 72 degrees. Uh, I can also change it to a uh, turn off the toggle of unit fractions. And I see the total number of degrees all the way up to 360. I'll go back to fractions for a moment. Oops, that's percentage. You can see the percentage there and make a full fraction. Use the rename button to make it into something uh, with a different number of pieces. I'll go back to the unit fractions and turn on degrees just to show that as well. So here I can see pieces of 22 and a half degrees. So that's a really nice feature to add to our fraction circles. We've made uh, some new features available on fractional labels on a number line. So here's a number line. I'm going to change the step to 1 8th. So now you can see it's counting by 1 8th, but 2 8 got simplified to 1 4th. Uh, 4 8 got simplified to a half. So we've added the option to change whether those fractions are simplified or not. I'll go to the advanced menu and I'll only. Um, I'll first choose the option of integers. And you can see here the only things that are simplified are integers. So we have 1 8, 2 8, 3 8, 4 8. Uh, 8 8 becomes 1. And if I extend the number line, 16 8 would become 2. Uh, and the other option is to keep all of them a fraction. So nothing gets simplified. So you can see here, eight, uh, 1 stays as 8 over 8. And if I uh, zoom out a little bit, and extend this number line to where we would see 2. You can see there is 16 over 8. But if I change this to uh, just the integers, that becomes 2. So some nice options to change labels on number lines. And some final things, we made a small tweak to how you choose the sound that a shape plays. So here I can click on sound. You can see I, I have this nice panel of all the instruments that you can choose from to play a shape. And we also have added um, some increment buttons to most places where students go up and down by a certain amount. So if I want to change the scale factor of this, you can see I can hit the plus or the minus to make changes to the scale factor. The scale factor is going up and down by tenths as I, as I click those buttons. So those are our June updates. Thanks for checking out this video and be sure to watch some of the other videos in the What's New series to find out about all that we've added to Polypad recently. We also have a uh, Polypad pointer video series that I encourage you to check out. It has all sorts of tips and ideas for using Polypad. Thanks very much.